Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. If you remember, it wasn't too long ago I did that video saying this scorpion's gonna have babies and we saw them things on the scorpion's back and and now they are scurrying all around the tank. So we're gonna look at them under magnification with our KK Moon video digital microscope to get a gander at what these things look like. And it's going to be tricky because we're going to leave the scorpion in its tiny habitat and zoom in there and see what's going on. All right, so it, it looks like the mother scorpion doesn't want any part of any of this. Now she is hiding. And that's, that's her tail there. Man, it zoomed up really, really big. A scorpion, they look like, what, lobsters of the desert? So we're going to search around in this habitat. And, okay, there's one. And I can see a couple others. And we'll try to zoom in on them. And... Now, I have no idea exactly how many were on the scorpion's back prior to them running free through the tank, but uh, it looks like there's maybe half a dozen or so, and that's what I could see. They could be hiding under things. You see, they love to hide under things, and hopefully none escaped. Now, right before I started filming this, I put a small cricket in there, and I put some flightless, 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 some little fruit flies, flightless fruit flies. There's a tongue twister. The thing about these fruit flies is, even though they can't fly, they can just crawl right out the top. And sometimes they do, sometimes they're content to stay down in there. I also wetted down the substrate a little bit because, you know, they got to have some moisture. When I put the cricket in there, I had not yet realized that, even though it's a teeny tiny cricket, or a small cricket, I hadn't realized that the baby and scorpions were zooming around in there. So faced by that cricket, it's possible that cricket just catch them things and eat them. It's a smaller size cricket, so it could go either way. Now, if it was a big full size cricket, oh, yeah, that big full size cricket would just be chomping down on them. That's, you know, crickets are these horrible. They're like chickens. You got a chicken coop, you know, and a chicken falls over dead, or the other ones peck it to death or something. Chickens will eat it. You know, they are horrible. Oh, I got some chicken stories to tell you. So, there's another baby scorpion. All right, so one of these baby scorpions is trying to get underneath the divider. The divider kind of got bumped because remember, this was a beta tank for two beta fish. We put the divider in there and we had a scorpion on either side. So I'm gonna have to take that scorpion out and we will put him in a different habitat. Cause I, there, there's a habitat I had that I've kind of left active, put some crickets and I've left water and stuff in there. And it had that bark scorpion in there. Remember the bark scorpion, the most venomous scorpion in North America? Another thing that some moron sent me in the mail. And at this point, some of you say, hey, you shouldn't call your viewers morons. Well, have you seen my videos yet? Yeah. <laughs> look at it. If, if you send me some weird creatures in the mail I didn't ask for and don't want and could possibly kill me when I open the package, I'm going to have to throw out the moron word. And I'm pretty sure you'd agree that if I did the same to one of you, you guys would be throwing out minimum the moron word, maybe something worse. So yeah, we'll take that other scorpion out of the habitat and then we'll remove the divider completely and they can have free range over the whole area. Now, will that be enough? I don't know. Some scorpions are communal, some are not. Those jungle scorpions that we have, we think they're those Sumatra jungle whatever scorpions are, or I don't know, some weird jungly scorpion. And some places, if you read online, it says, oh, they can be in a group of scorpions. And then some places it says... No, they're aggressive and have to be separate. So not knowing what kind of scorpions these are, I don't know if the mother scorpion will just start hunting down these little scorpions one by one and eating them, kind of like the mother black widow does to the spider babies. I don't know. And I was going to say, well, I don't want to take the chance. Well, you know, I guess I am still taking the chance. I'm just giving them twice as much place to run and hide. And I'll just try to keep some other food in there. And then hopefully she won't eat the small... Well, I, you know, I don't care, I guess. I'd like to film them a little bit before they get eaten. But hopefully she won't eat them before I get them filmed. And the general rule of thumb is you put a bunch of food in there and then you don't have to worry about that happening except the food we would put in there, you know, crickets, would probably hunt down and eat the baby scorpions themselves. So, you know, there is that problem. And when we get a chance after this, well, it'll be after this video, but I won't know what I'll get posted. So after I'm done with this video, we'll, we'll take that scorpion who just came out of the other side of the habitat and we'll, in his container, and we'll put him under a microscope, have a look-see at him. 
All right, what do you think? Cool or not cool? Well, I'm going to say it's kind of cool to see it, but it's not cool to have it happen to you. So, you know, see these little teeny tiny scorpions? These are, when I lived down in the Mojave Desert, these are what my friend would have on their front door. I'd go over his house, and there'd be hunters, these teeny tiny scorpions, running up and down his front door, and he'd just squish them. Ugh. Didn't know what they were or why they didn't go inside his house. Well, we don't know. We don't think so. We think because the direction that his front door was facing that they would get on the little door jam there and the doorknob and everything to sun themselves. And it was always these teeny tiny ones. I don't know if they're running and hiding for some, from something. You know, like big scorpions chasing them up there. I, I don't know. But you would see these teeny tiny bugs all over the door frame and the door and you're looking at them, scorpions. <laughs> yeah, all right. So leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. And hey, if you can identify what kind of scorpion or scorpion babies they are, you know, let me know. Leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube. <laughs>